Hi, welcome back, my dear student. In this section, so we'll be discussing uh, uh code ignite. I mean, uh, outload lab, um, libraries, uh, config routes, uh, you know, some basic things in code ignite. That's so before we start building our login page. Okay, now this is uh, uh what is inside code ignite folder. Okay, so but it's when you go to your browser, okay, when you go to your browser, there's a welcome. To code igniter, okay. This particular uh welcome, this frame that you can see here, this here, all those ones, okay, is inside a view, okay. Don't forget that uh the uh, this is a view, a readable format that user can see, read, and understand. Okay, so this particular thing we can see on the screen is coming from inside view okay but the controller actually loads this view for us to say without controller we cannot see uh, uh what is inside view okay so but actually this is coming from a view but controller loads view for us okay let's let's go back let's go back to uh, to what we want to discuss okay now this is uh the controller folder okay um i will start from this is the index page okay don't forget that when you load at a website the first page that will be loaded for you is called an index page okay uh, okay all right so this is i'm curious, coming back to this place okay well let's quickly discuss some basic things this is a user guide there is if you need help just come to your user guide you know um you can learn a lot of things from you know from user guide. Let's quickly go to our browser and see how it works. Okay, don't forget. So let me just uh, user underscore uh, user underscore guide. Okay, so let's you know it's inside controller for that user underscore guide. Let's press it. Can you see that? So we have the welcome to code, uh, uh, code igniter. Okay, so who is code igniter for? So okay, uh, if you want to if you want a framework with a small footprint if you need a framework with, a, with an exceptional performance okay if you need a framework okay with broad compatibility with standard hosting account that runs on a variety of php versions and configurations okay you can just take your time to you know learn more about okay learn more about coding that here yeah, this place is particularly you know if you are a developer it's good to always communicate with any you know any software documentation okay so that you learn a lot of things that okay so this is a database reference library general topics okay now controller url you know there's so many things also load you know there are so many things you can learn from the user guide okay from their documentation okay that is not where we are going for now okay as if we need any codes maybe you know we face any challenge we might still need to come back to this place and you know pick some you know code yeah okay but for now we don't need that okay so explain that's user guide okay so let me go to application because we'll be working more on that this application folder okay uh, 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 uh this is the view i'm talking about i was talking about the other time the view the models can you see that uh nothing is there under models uh the controller okay we have the welcome page okay a welcome file okay can you see that then when you go to view uh we have welcome or that's called message okay this welcome or that's called message file which is under views uh and uh, this is it here okay this is this is it here is here okay this is what is inside welcome or that's called okay so can you see there is a uh, welcome or that's called message let's open it okay let's open it let's open it it's coming up okay let's 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 open it let's see what is inside that welcome or that's called message okay it's loading now can you see that if i delete everything let me save and i save i go to fire and i just click on save okay if i go back to my browsers okay go back to my browser and refresh it can you see that nothing is actually there do you understand now nothing is there okay so if i go back if i go back and i you know undo good uh, okay undo uh, 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 undo okay let me just press con okay or is there undo control z okay and i save go to file click on save okay 
and if i minimize i go back to my browser and refresh okay can you see that it's back okay so it's inside there okay okay let's do one more thing okay yeah this is welcome to Cody. can you see that welcome if i say welcome to school development okay so if i go back to my browsers uh let me just refresh can you see that welcome to school development do you really understand now okay so if i go back and you know uh say say php echo two plus two okay okay echo two plus two uh let's go back can you see that four do you understand what i'm saying so we'll be working inside view controllers and models okay and models oh, all right all right okay let me just quickly discuss some basic things yeah this is config config folder we have auto load okay auto load this automatically this is where we are going to load we'll be loading our libraries we'll be loading drivers helpers you know it will be setting some things under configuration language you know we'll be communicating with models yeah okay this is where we are going to load model we're going to load model if you want to load libraries come to this place uh url packages you understand what i'm saying third party okay this is where we'll do that okay okay let me just let me close that okay a uh, uh, config configuration okay here too is very important okay so we'll be setting our base url here maybe your example.com school www.school.com by the time we get that you read i think you really understand uh, this place too is very important your index.php uri protocol yeah if you want to use htc access then you can use um this one is request url you can use path the info or query string okay we are going to you know, be then working with all these uh, uh uh information here okay we have preface the the character it should accept in case of uh, my scale injection this is where we are going to set those things okay so if you uh, need uh, some query strings that will come to this place and uh, you know do that okay so a lot of things will be you know setting under this configuration by the time we start you know by the time we start you know building our school system this one is very too is very important you know for cookies expiration you know destroying of cookies and you know, session and stuff like that okay so we're working on these uh base s you know sss train for security wise especially the ces rv you know we'll be working on this okay so those are the areas we'll be recharge we'll be touching okay in in a moment to come now this database okay let me just open it okay now this is where we are going to you know you know communicate with your database the username which is always roots locally a password you know the password the database name school which will be creating in the moments to come okay we'll be working inside database as well okay i think this thing is very important this roots very very important i need to discuss about this road okay now this is a default controller now what this root is saying is a root is just like a path okay a path okay that you must follow okay even in in, in laravel we have routes also they are very important okay that if you launch a website okay uh which path should this you know site follow first okay now we are saying that when you open this you know software this should go to welcome controller okay because this communicate with controllers okay now when you visit this website it should go to controller folder okay look at it my controller then your method before loading your method okay so if i change this to maybe score we should have an error because we don't have a school controller yet okay so if i go back to my browsers and you know refresh can you see that 404 page not found because we don't have a we don't have a, a school controller okay so this route is very important when you are building when you are you know 
building this software for the first time you set the 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 uh, the, the controller the path first to follow when you launch the software now look at it we have a welcome controller so let's go to controller folder and see if there's a welcome there so application controllers voila can you see that we have a controller file so when i click on this file now okay can you see that we have uh, uh no direct script analysis or security measures we'll be discussing more about that i think it's very important uh, that we have this controller has a class extending you know code igniter controller is extending this welcome to code igniter okay the code igniter controller and that is how we'll be you know developing so many controllers here okay now this what this controller is doing is to load to load what is inside view and also to communicate with your model don't forget i told you that controller controls both views and model in this case we are not communicating with database and that is why you cannot see model we are not working with model here we have not even connected with that we have not even created any database okay so this controller loads the information what is inside view can you see that can you see that load view welcome message so if i go back to a folder okay if i go back to a folder and application go to a view can you see this is it if i rename this to school okay if i rename this to school then um i go back to my browser it erase an error can you see that unable to load request file welcome or that's called message because in a controller and that is what we are actually loading that go to view load this file for us okay welcome or that's called message but we have renamed this welcome to school there is nothing like a welcome folder and that is why uh, uh, it's actually raising an error that unable to load the request to welcome message now let's go back to folder and uh, uh let's go back to our controller for uh, file let's go back to our controller this is our controller let's change this to score you know we have a, a file in view called score so let's you know go back to a browser and you know refresh what well, can you see that it has load the information inside score can you see that because we are able to see that because we have a, a file called school inside view okay can you see that we in the roots we have a controller called a, a, a welcome which is this and the controller is loading a file inside view now we have a file inside view called school can you see how it works okay we have not mentioned models now because we are not communicating with database yet uh, yet okay so in our next video we'll be building our first login page for administrator okay i think you understand better by the time we start building the login page okay thank you so much once again for taking this course don't forget that if there's any issues you know write me up on udemy i'll be glad for an assistance installed a team viewer i have team viewer on my system also i can easily remove your computer and help you to set it up some basic things thank you so much once again for taking this call see you in the next lecture bye